Hello, welcome back to another Feed Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. This time we're looking at how you can handle a specific kind of bottle shape, which is a bottle shape where we have a concave area. So this is an area where we have an indentation or a pocket, some kind of hollow area in the bottle. Why do we need to handle these kind of bottle shapes differently? Well, this kind of concave geometry is a problem because it creates self-intersecting geometry when we move the bottle along the shaft. It's impossible geometry to create a solid body from. Therefore, any, any of these kind of pockets, hollows or dips in your bottle shape, we have to take an extra step in the app to be able to create these successfully. So how can we handle this? There's actually two ways. The simplest way is to remove the hollow area completely from the bottle shape itself. Like we see here, I've just filled in the, uh, the hollow area. This is the simplest option, but then of course your shaft will no longer be closely hugging the bottle in the concave area, um, which in many cases might be fine and you may still have the control of the bottle that you need. But if you need a really tight fit with the bottle, then you might need to consider option two, which is not much more complex. In fact, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to split the bottle into two or more shapes that don't have any concave areas to create a combined bottle shape which does include the concave areas. And then you use each part of the bottle to cut a separate thread in the shaft and combine the results together. But the app does this combining of the two shafts together for you. So don't be confused. Let's take a look at a couple of examples in PowerPoint and then we'll create a real example using the app in a moment. Okay, so how do we split a concave bottle shape into multiple sketches if we are not happy with filling in the concave shape uh, in the bottle solid, the first option we saw just then. How do we split it up? Well, let's look at this one for example. This concave shape can be split into a round bottle plus a rectangular bottle with, uh, with radius edges. If you add those two together, you get this shape and you'll get a perfect fit with this shape here. So you'd have to sketch both this shape and this shape here. Uh, and combine them together using the app. Let's look at another one, similar here. How could we combine these two? Well, it's gonna be the same thing, isn't it? There's the first shape I can do. Remember, every bottle shape you sketch needs to have no sharp edges. You need to radius every single edge on your bottle. Um, plus this shape here, again, with radius edges equals this. Now, I'm gonna come back to this point. It's an important point to mention here. You see, uh, you think, well, why would why do you extend this rectangular bottle so far along here? You, you can kind of stop it here, can't you, and stop this one here? Well, yes, technically you could, but the app requires us to have each bottle um, extending over or covering the center point of the bottle sketch. So we have to make sure each shape that we sketch does that, otherwise uh, the generation will fail. Okay, let's take a look at another example, this cross-shaped bottle that we've got here. We've got four con cave areas here that we need to fill in or not to fill in we need to deal somehow but you can guess how this one's done can't you two radius rectangles no problem we combine those together and we get a perfect fit with the bottle um, so two sketches in that case as well what about this one well we can draw half of it like this this is the area which is concave which it which would cause self-intersecting geometry but we can draw that side mirror it create the other side create those as separate shafts and then combine them together and that's fine. What about this one here? Well this one's a bit of a trick question because this is a continuously concave area here we'd have to have a lot of combinations of different sketches to do this so that was a bit of a trick question in this case you're going to be best off just filling in the the gap there sketching in uh, a, a filler for that one. Okay, so that's enough examples. Hopefully you can extend these examples to cover any kind of bottle shape that you need to uh, create. Let's take a look at the actual steps that you need to cover in order to actually do this inside the app. So how do we create the shaft? First, you've got to decide how to split the bottle shape into two or more shapes with no concave areas like the examples that we just saw. And then you've got to use the normal app tools to draw the first bottle shape. And what I like to do here, I've put this as optional, you can draw both shapes in a single sketch and just make 
you know the second one construction lines so it won't extrude uh, and then you can just switch between the two generate the shaft as usual so in this case we'll be generating with a, a circular bottle shape and then after that you have a shaft with a single circular bottle shape thread cut in it you then go back into the app or say you want to do a, a, another operation with the app and you change the sketch to extrude this time the second bottle shape and then after that the most important bit which you mustn't miss out is you need to turn on the option at the top of the form for the app to cut the second thread not the first thread because if you leave it on the default which is cut first thread then it will delete the first thread that we cut with the circular bottle and you won't be able to combine the two but if you say cut second thread you'll get a combination of this bottle shape and this bottle shape which is exactly what we want and of course we don't want to rotate or translate the bottle here at all so you just leave this as zero and then you can just hit generate again to cut the second thread and that's it so it really isn't much more complex than filling in the the bottle shape and it's super simple to combine multiple bottle shapes into a sort of compound bottle shape uh, as, as you can see here one other thing to mention before we actually do it inside inventor um, if you do want to simulate to uh, sort of play the movement of the bottles then of course you'll need to extrude the full profile um, here after you've generated the shaft so that the bottles in the simulation when you're seeing the bottles move along the shaft so that you you can see the full bottle shape the accurate bottle shape uh, when you're seeing them the move okay let's uh, jump into inventor that's enough powerpoint and let's uh, let's create a shaft using a bottle shape like this one that we see here okay let's start out with an empty part file inside inventor and let's hit the generate button for the app and then we're going to head straight to sketch uh, our two parts of the bottle shape so let's use this edit bottle sketch shape and we do want a circular bottle so I'm just going to adjust the size of this circular part of the bottle shape but then of course we want the rectangular shape with fillets on there as well so I'm going to use a rectangle just draw in this here so I think 30 millimeters should be fine for that dimension there let's position this centrally with a constraint and let's stick some fillets on this rectangle remember we need to make sure still with this method that every part of the bottle shape is filleted there's no sharp edges so let's do this one here four millimeters will be fine and then we need to specify the offset there as well don't we so let's use um, maybe 32 millimeters for this one and remember I said that the bottle shape must overlap the uh, center point of the sketch here so if we were to uh, excuse me if we were to sketch this part of the bottle shape like this this would not work and the app would not be happy with that we need to have this overlapping this center point but we don't want it overlapping too much otherwise we might cause clashes perhaps with this other side here so let's just make it um, possibly an overlap of um, let's say four or five millimeters here and our sketch is now fully constrained and we're ready to go except for the fact that of course we need to cut each thread at a time not both threads at once so I need to make one of these profiles uh, construction now so I'm going to hit escape and I'll make the rectangular one construction so I'll hit that there in fact let's make the rectangular shape not construction to sketch that one first and let's make the circular shape construction and we'll finish that sketch and the app will pick up on the new rectangular shape of the bottle and we can go and specify our bottle pitches and things like that here so same as usual uh, we can specify the length of the shaft the bottle pitch now this has got to be at least as long as both sections of the bottle so I actually need to head back into my bottle sketch to see exactly how um, how wide the bottle is altogether um, let's try sticking a dimension on between here and if I can get that icon right between there and there so I can see 54 millimeters is that reference dimension there so the uh, the initial bottle pitch needs to be at least 54 millimeters there so I'll make this 54 and I'll make the pitch at the end 104 let's say 
and then I want at least one revolution at the start and one revolution at the end where the bottle pitch is uh, constant and the root, root diameter excuse me the uh, position of the bottle outboard of the shaft let's just expand that slightly here as well uh, wor worth mentioning actually a new feature in the app we've got a readout here if you hover over the start or the end of the variable distance you will see um, the app will tell you the start the estimated root diameter of the shaft at the start and the end um, in this case it's 60 millimeters and we are pretty much ready to go here for cutting the first thread we uh, we can leave this one low we can leave both of these uh, sliders pretty low and just hit go and generate and I'll speed the video up at this point okay we've got that first thread cut in nearly four minutes and we now need to say that we do want to consider uh, continue another operation because we want to cut the circular thread now if you hit no that's okay you can just go and hit generate again but we'll say yes and that will reopen the form and allow us to uh, to specify this second thread now so we're going to have to switch that sketch round aren't we so if we head back into the sketch to define the bottle shape then we just need to select the rectangular geometry toggle construction on and select this circle and toggle construction off and then finish the sketch so you see it's useful to have both of those profiles in the same sketch to start off with and then when we finish the sketch there the app should pick up on the circular bottle shape and give us the preview now the important thing here is we do want to cut a second thread we don't want to delete the thread we just cut we want to combine the two threads of course if we forget that the app will give us a bit of a warning if I hit generate here and I have forgotten that it's going to say hang on do you want to delete the existing finished solid body or not so I'm going to say cancel because I want to combine with it and I'm going to switch on this option to cut the second thread now I don't want any relative movement either rotation or translation between my two threads because it's really part of the two parts of the same bottle so I want them to move the same otherwise that would be pretty strange if your bottle was splitting in half as it went along the shaft so no movement there and I'm pretty much ready to hit go again I can I can drag the loft rails down a bit here because it's the simplest kind of bottle shape we can get to speed up the generation a bit and I'm ready to go so let's hit generate and I'll uh, speed the video up again okay this shafts created the second thread there and you can see if we say uh, no we don't want to continue with another operation you can see the result that we've got here is the rectangular bottle shape cut here and then a sharp edge between that and the previously cut circular bottle shape so this will be the best possible fit that we could get uh, between the bottle and the shaft let's take a look at a simulation of this maybe and in order to do that as I said in the PowerPoint at the start we should probably model this bottle as both of those shapes so let's just go into the bottle sketch here we can edit the bottle sketch manually or we can hit generate and um, and go and edit the bottle sketch from there instead and let's hit edit sketch and we'll just turn on both of those shapes here so I'll select that make it not construction finish the sketch and then that additional profile will be picked as well here so now we're ready to run a simulation of course we wouldn't want to hit generate now because this is the whole problem we were trying to avoid which is what to do about these concave sections we'll get um, self intersecting geometry if we hit generate now uh, but we can simulate this so let's hit simulate okay and as per usual we've got our bottle movement there we can hit play to uh, generate all the frames required in order to generate a smooth um, simulation so it's about 45 of 70 through there it's got to generate 70 frames to give us a smooth smooth play 
Uh, let's hit delete to stop the simulation, maybe speed it up a bit. Right click on here to change the speed of the simulation and let's hit play again. And you can see those, the movement of the bottles there. And if we uh, rotate this around then hopefully you'll be able to see uh, the nice fit. I might have to hit delete there actually in order to align this correctly. There we are, you can see it is effectively a perfect fit between the bottle and the shaft there um, using this method that we've done. So if that is important to you, that the fit is much better there, then this is the method to use. Okay, hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thanks very much and well done if you've made it this far in the tutorials. Catch you next time.